David and David here to talk about iOS 14.5. We're beta testers. We've been using the developer beta for some time now. iOS 14.5 should be publicly available relatively soon. We want to talk about some of the great new features you'll be able to enjoy. Right, and some of the infamous new features from Apple's website. And starting with the beta versions of iOS 14.5, you'll be required to ask users for their permission to track them across apps and websites owned by other companies. So Apple's talking to the developers here. Facebook is not happy about this. Who cares? Right, who cares? David doesn't care. This means that Facebook is not going to be able to see by default all of the other apps that you're using and websites that you're visiting. So it's kind of a no-brainer. Most people didn't even know this was happening, yeah. but this is how you see Airbnb ads on Facebook and vice versa. Yeah, so, so let's dive into settings and show you where this is. Open yep. the settings app, scroll down to privacy, tap on privacy and then tap on tracking. Allow apps to request to track. When this switch is turned on and you open an app for the first time, you might see a pop-up saying, hey, can we track you? And you'll <laughs> yeah. probably say no. But if you just don't want to see those pop-ups at all and you want to deny, preemptively deny apps that permission, right. let's turn that switch off. And all of a sudden, companies are really mm -hmm. mad at Apple. Yeah. That switch just lost Facebook a billion dollars. Yeah. Nice job. So the next thing that's really awesome, I wish this had come out you know, a year ago, but it's unlocking your iPhone with Face ID when you're wearing a mask. Right. Just in time, Apple. Yeah. So I'm going to do the demo, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, got my iPhone here. So normally, when I look at my phone, it would be locked yep. right now because I'm wearing a mask. But because I'm wearing my Apple Watch, Ooh. it unlocks automatically. Yeah, it's a really awesome feature. And what you need is iOS 14.5 on your iPhone mm -hmm. and an Apple Watch running watchOS 7.4 or newer. Right. If you have those two things, you just have to turn on one setting to make this happen. Let's tap back to privacy. Yep. And take off your mask, back to settings. And come down here to Face ID and Passcode. Tap on that. Enter your passcode, and then scroll down to unlock with Apple Watch. Just turn on the switch next to your Apple Watch. David's Apple Watch will unlock when any mask is detected. Turn on. It needs to be on your wrist. It needs to be unlocked. It needs to be protected by a passcode, and that's it. Yeah, really great feature, you know. Yeah. Long overdue. Just long, in time long for overdue. the vaccine. Yep. Another great change is Siri. There are now two new Siri American voices. Let's go check those out. We'll tap back to settings, tap on Siri and search, and then tap on Siri voice. So now here for an American, you can see voice one, voice two, voice three, voice four. Wow, they've gotten rid of the male female yes, thing. Yes, they got rid of that as Interesting. well. Interesting. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hey, I'm Siri. Hi, What's up? I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Choose the voice you'd like me to use. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hey, I'm Siri. Yeah. I like that one. Voice so, number three, he's got some spunk. Voice four sounds like hey. the original Siri voice and the rest of them are different. Yeah, they're different. Yeah. Hi, I'm Siri. I'm voice number three. What's but next? If you go to Australia and you can see voice one, they got rid of the male and female entirely. Yep. The next thing has to do with battery health. We just made a video on why the battery health number is a lie, and lo and behold, iOS 14.5, hey, iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, those numbers aren't actually too accurate, and now they have to be recalibrated. Yep, and it's not like it just happens. You have an iPhone 11 Pro. Yeah, well, let's show them right now. Yeah. We'll tap back to Siri and search, back to settings, and then tap on battery then tap battery health. Important battery message, your battery health reporting system is recalibrating maximum capacity and peak performance capability. This process may take a few weeks and you can see this nice little asterisk next to maximum capacity. Yeah, I mean, it's already a misleading number because it's not really the maximum capacity. It's not really related to 100%. It's, it's the rated capacity of the battery and how this stacks up compared to that. So you're at 89% now. Maybe we'll do a follow-up video in a few weeks. Yes. Yeah. Talk about how much it's changed. Yeah. The next thing was a bit of a screen issue that some iPhone users noticed, especially iPhone 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max users. I would say victims, David. Uh, I sure. think victims is more appropriate. Uh, maybe. Yeah. So when their screen was extra dim, it was brightness super low, there was this little green tint around the screen and you can look up pictures of this online. It's, it's really interesting to see. It kind of looks like uh, Mr. Burns in that episode of The Simpsons where he has the green glow and they think yeah. he's an alien. Mm. But iOS 14.5 beta 2 had a fix for that and it seems like the problem has really gone away. So if that's an issue affecting you, you're definitely gonna wanna update to iOS 14.5 immediately. Right, you're not going colorblind. A lifetime of working in a nuclear power plant has given me a healthy green glow. As an iPhone 12 Pro owner, one of the most important things to me 
is the color of the MagSafe animation when I plug it in at night because that I really care about that, especially when I'm in low power mode. I'm mm. like, I'm in low power mode and it's a green animation. So Apple devoted their time and energy into creating a yellow animation for low power mode. Let's show you how that works. Here we have the MagSafe adapter. Here we have a phone that is in low power mode. Boom. Look at that. It's Animation. Green. Animation's yellow now. We're not really big fans of low power mode. Check out our video card above, description section below about why low power mode isn't really all that great. Yeah, yeah. Usually just a band-aid for a deeper problem. Yeah, next let's talk about the Translate app. Another small change. You can now change the playback speed of translations, especially good if you're new to learning a language and maybe you need to slow it down just a little bit to hear everything more clearly. So let's open the Translate app. I'll go to the home screen by swiping up and I'm gonna go to my app library and type in translate. Tap on translate. So what if you wanna say, hello, how are you? Go. We're doing a screen recording, so it's not that loud. Yeah. So if you press and hold on the play button, you can see play it one and a quarter speed, play it one X, normal speed, play it three quarter speed or play it half speed. And this will just, you know, slow down. I, I bet that in the release, they change the display of those because those are like absurdly small, the yeah, three, four, so and the one, two, and stuff. A little hard to read. Yeah, I bet they change it to um, to one point two five. One point two five. Yep. Yes. There's, a, there's a fight brewing right now inside Apple over this. I'm telling you. Yeah, another small change. We got some new emojis: a mended heart, heart on fire, a dizzy guy, and a cloud of smoke. AirPods Max. Those are just a few. Sounds like somebody might have had a, a, a tough year at Apple. Yeah. <laughs> Another small change in iOS 14.5 is a new save button in the podcast app for individual episodes of a podcast. Previously, you just tap the three dots, the more button, and then hit save. Now there's just a button. Let's show you what that looks like. I'll open the app switcher and just pull up a podcast I have open. And this new little bookmark button, episode saved. How interesting. You're going to save seconds of time with this new button. <laughs> seconds. I bet they got a lot of complaints. Like, you know, you really should be able to save an episode. You know, And then yeah. they were like, you can. You can, but you can't. It's, you, it's hard you to find. You don't know how to do it. It's in the dots. If you're a gamer, you'll like this. PS5 controllers and Xbox Series X controllers are now Bluetooth compatible with the iPhone when you update to iOS 14.5. You could already do PS4 and Xbox One controllers, and now you can just do the next generation consoles. Yep, and play games that are not as good as you could play on the PS5 yeah. or the Xbox Series Well, yeah, X. you get the PS5, you just get the controller. You don't need the PS5. You don't need the whole thing. And finally, if you're a T-Mobile customer, there is a new setting just for you. 5G standalone. Instead of 5G Auto, which will connect your iPhone to the best network available, you can just use 5G all the time. <laughs> Only 5G. They're Only really doubling down on the fact yeah. that they have the best 5G coverage. I'm not a T-Mobile customer. Neither is David, but we're going to show you where you can find this. Let's open up the settings app and scroll down to cellular. You don't have to scroll anywhere. Tap on cellular data options. Tap on voice and data. And T-Mobile users will see a very special option yeah, here. Just for you. We don't recommend turning that on yeah, because no. I, 5G, even though T-Mobile is the leader in 5G right now, right. not super reliable. And 4G LTE, more than good enough for what you're doing. Yeah, right exactly. It's it's stupid feature that T-Mobile... I don't understand. Yeah, so we'll definitely make a follow-up video to this because we can't cover all the new stuff in yeah, one no, video. This is, we've gotten point one better, yeah. and there's too much stuff to talk yeah, about. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff, and if you find anything interesting to you, leave a comment down below. Let us know, and we'll take a look at it, and we'll check it out. Thanks yeah. for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Yep, yeah, only 4% of people do. Please subscribe. Thank you.